In the fall of 2022, the Gracias Choir's Peace Concert was held in Israel, the Holy Land of the Gospel. For this event, Pastor Aksu Park, founder of the Good News Mission and Gracias Choir, was also invited to Israel. During the visit, which lasted from the 18th to the 21st, Pastor Aksu Park not only delivered a message at the concert, but also met with Israeli political figures to discuss mind education and conducted interview schedules with foreign media. Pastor Aksu Park, who arrived at the capital Tel Aviv airport, was greeted by Chief Rabbi Jonah Metzger and Israel Morgan Stern, chairman of Israel's global NGO Zaka Association. After receiving an escort from a state guest, he he moved to his accommodation and chatted with Yonamet Sugar's chief rabbi, who was glad to meet him for the first time in three months. A few months ago, I was very impressed by Pastor Park. I met a pastor who knew and memorized the whole Bible for the first time. Therefore, at first, I talked about Bible verses, and when the pastor asked questions, I answered them, and when I asked questions, the pastor answered them and shared answers. So the meeting was originally scheduled for an hour, but it increased to four hours. So our hearts were connected through God, and we are the descendants of Abraham, and after that, we visited Korea. This time round, Pastor Park and his team have visited Israel for the second time. Sixtieth anniversary of diplomatic relations between Korea and Israel. As Pastor Ak Su Park celebrates the 60th anniversary of evangelism, the peace concert was held to promote friendship and cooperation between the Korea and Israel and to deliver God's peace to Israel. The first performance was held at the Smolers Auditorium in Tel Aviv, a beautiful coastal city by the Mediterranean Sea. Jonah Metzger, Chief Rabbi, and Hen Kraus, Vice Mayor of Tel Aviv, gave congratulatory speeches respectively for the performance. The chief rabbi said Reverend Aksu Park overcame difficulties by believing in the Bible and became an influential pastor all around the world, while Hen Kraus thanked Reverend Park and the Gracias Choir for holding concerts for peace around the world and Israel. Pastor Park, who then took the stage, talked about the change and joy caused by the forgiveness of sin that he found in the Bible. And through the stories of many people who enjoyed this joy, he delivered a message that anyone can change when they meet the love of God in the Bible. The word of God is alive. And it is powerful. So whosoever receives those words and believes them in their heart, it's so amazing the word works through them. It's so amazing. But the Bible is the word of God. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It's so amazing. Hearing the message of faith delivered by Reverend Aksu Park, some pastors prayed that the concert and the message delivered here would change the minds of Jews who do not yet believe in Jesus. Pastor Aksu Park's visit to Israel drew attention from Israeli and foreign media. Among them, at Ethiopia's first and largest broadcaster, El Shaddai TV, the president of the London branch of Belay to Habte, and the couple interviewed Pastor Aksu Park in Tel Aviv and personally shared evangelical relationships. In Jerusalem, an interview was also held with TBN, Russia's largest Christian broadcaster, and the IETV Israeli daily Jerusalem Post which is broadcast's rights in Ethiopia and Europe. Amid various questions about Mindet education, his evangelical mission around the world, and the life of faith he has walked, Pastor Park answered through the gospel which he has passed down all throughout his life.
Governments around the world are paying attention to the activities of Reverend Ak Su Park, who addresses youth and social issues around the world. The visit was arranged with ambassadors from Israel, ambassadors from 26 countries, including Kenya, Ghana, the Philippines, Honduras, and Ethiopia, gathered to discuss their education and development on the afternoon of the 18th, and they agreed to the IYF's Mind Education, which changes youth's lives through deep thinking skills. The visit, which commemorates the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties between South Korea and Israel, was also significant in terms of civilian diplomacy. Mayor Moses Ryan, who met Pastor Ak Su Park at Jerusalem City Hall on the afternoon of the 19th, thanked the Gracias Choir for holding a high-quality performance for the citizens of Jerusalem and promised a next meeting, saying, I want to take more time to listen to the Mind Lecture. Local lawmakers, former Economy Minister Eli Cohen and former Justice Minister Amir Ohana, also met with Pastor Ak Su Park to discuss mind education. They continued their interviews despite being busy preparing for the election. In particular, Rep. Amir Ohana praised the effectiveness of mind education and promised to continue exchanges and meetings in the future, saying, please consider yourself a friend. Meanwhile, he met Rabbi Raphael Evers on Tuesday. Pastor Ak Su Park, who emphasized that it is impossible to be blessed by keeping the law, delivered the gospel that all sins of mankind were washed forever through the blood Jesus shed on the cross through the atonement of Leviticus and the gospel of the New Testament. While talking about God's love for the Jews in the Bible, the atmosphere of the interview became more harmonious and the two promised to meet again. A two-day peace concert held at the International Convention Center in Jerusalem on the 19th and 20th. The concert was held on the 19th for Jews living in Jerusalem, and on the 20th for Christians in Israel. About 3,000 people filled the concert hall, and Jonah Metzger, Chief Rabbi, and Israel Morgenstern, Chairman of Israel's NGO Zaka, delivered a congratulatory speech at the concert on the 19th. At the meeting, Jonah Metzger, the Chief Rabbi, showed a strong relationship by gifting a frame with Jerusalem on it, and the Zaka Association gave a plaque of appreciation to Pastor Ak Su Park. The Gracias Choir performed with a colorful repertoire for two days. From the masterpieces of an era that everyone can enjoy listening to, regardless of religion, to the Ost of the movie Schindler List, which touches the hearts of Jews, and songs loved by Jews such as Havana Gila and Holy Castle, it bestowed both comfort and peace. The audience also reacted enthusiastically, applauding and singing along. The next day, there were new stages for Jewish Christians, starting with Ride the Golden Wing, a song by Hebrew slaves longing to return to Jerusalem 2,600 years ago. They sang about the birth of Jesus, who was saved by the small valley of Bethlehem, the praise of angels, and Handel's Messiah stage. Pastor Ak Su Park delivered the gospel in Jerusalem for two days. He explained the atonement system in the Bible through Leviticus and delivered the gospel that God, who hoped that we would not be destroyed, happily sacrificed his son for our sins. The next day, he shouted that God gave us a new covenant in the house of Israel and the house of Judah. The performance that ended the peace concert, the Golden Jerusalem, Hosanna at the highest place forever, the joy of those who regained Jerusalem and praised God in the scene, where all Jews sang along and became one was expressed by cheers and standing ovations from the audience. In addition, Christians from all over the world, who gained the grace of salvation through the true gospel during this period of Gentiles, enjoyed the concert together. The promise clearly engraved in our hearts with the peace concert by the Gracias Choir and Pastor Ak Su Park's visit. And in this way all Israel will be saved.
More than 2,000 years later in Jerusalem, where Jesus attended and preached the gospel, we look forward to the day when the sound of the gospel once again resonated through God's servant will soon return to the praise of joy.